Momentum and car safety. So let's look at seat belts first. Now the whole point of seat belts is that they reduce the impact force on the wearer and they do this by having a moderate, that means a reasonable amount of stretch. So the impact time increases. Now as we just saw, the longer the impact time, the longer the duration of the impact, the less the force. It reduces the force because the momentum is lost over a longer period. And also with the seatbelt, the force is spread across the chest. So let's have a look at an example here. Um, this is um, an old fashioned seatbelt which just had a little bit of stretch in it. We've got a passenger weighing 50 kilograms and the vehicle's moving at 15 meters per second and the stopping time is 0.4 seconds. That's the duration of the impact. So the acceleration is minus 15 divided by 0.4, that's the stopping time, so that's the change in velocity divided by the time taken for the change. So the acceleration is minus 37.5 meters per second squared. That's A, that's the acceleration. The impact force, now remember that triangle, is mass times acceleration, so 50 is the mass, times the acceleration, which is minus 37.5. The impact force is 1,875 newtons. And just a reminder though, the two triangles, or two equations if you prefer, that we use to calculate the impact force, you have to calculate the acceleration first using the one on the left, and then use that in the second one to calculate the force. So let's compare that with this example where we have a seat belt which has more stretch in it. So we've got the same passenger, 50 kilograms, going at the same speed, which is 15 meters per second, but it's a longer stopping time. The duration of the impact is 0.6 seconds. So the acceleration is the change in velocity, going from 15 meters per second to zero, divided by the time taken for the change. So acceleration is minus 25 meters per second squared, Use that in the second equation, the impact force is mass times acceleration, 50 times minus 25, which is 1,250 newtons, so it's considerably less. Side impact bars, these are constructed into the sides of the vehicle. They're designed to crush in a predictable way so that they spread the force of the impact and they absorb the energy of a side impact. And the benefit of this is that it reduces injury to passengers. Crumple zones, these are usually at the front and the back of a car. They're parts of a car which are designed to crush in a predictable way in the event of an impact. And they increase the time of the impact and this reduces the force and they don't intrude into the passenger cabin so the passengers have less chance of being injured. Airbags inflate rapidly upon impact but they start to deflate again in the fraction of a second before your head hits it too hard. So the head is in contact with the airbag for longer than it would be with the dashboard so the impact time increases. Now this means that a smaller force is exerted on the head to change its momentum and the force is also spread over the whole of the upper body and this also reduces the risk of injury.